So in 2014, the Russian, this whole Russian um, dispute with Ukraine started. In 2014, I had to leave Ukraine. This is my second time now, second time trying to graduate with medical degree in Ukraine. Second time now, Russia, second time Russia has, has put a stop to me. I cannot spend nine years trying to get medicine, trying to finish medicine trying to be a medical doctor and give up now it's gonna be like i've wasted nine years of my life i can't on saturday we started we started moving we went to the train station because because they said that we should go to either Poland, Hungary, or Romania. So the plan was to go to Poland, right, initially. Then on Saturday, we went to the train station, and when we got to the train station, we, oh, there were a lot, like the place was full, a lot of people and everything. Then after, when we got to the train station, we were supposed to take a train to Lviv. But when we got to the train station in Denipro, to enter the train to Lviv, it was hard. In the sense that, like, they were racism. Like, before you get a ticket, before you enter the train, they said you have to get a ticket. They wouldn't sell tickets to the blacks. They wouldn't sell tickets to us. It was only Ukrainians they were selling tickets to. And they said that we couldn't enter the train without a ticket. There was There were two lines this line and this line and they said this line was the one we were supposed to be on to get tickets we were standing for hours for hours over four hours they didn't let us go through the soldiers blocked the road they didn't let us go through but guess what when their people came when the Ukrainian people came they, 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 they literally made a way for them to pass through to get tickets so the the, 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 the priority was women and children but not us they didn't include us blacks it didn't include us black. It was just them. They are people, they are women and children. We were like, what about us? We are also women. So why are we not allowed to go through? Um standing in place for people like us that have been displaced. And I'm crying for help. We've been through a lot. Emotionally, mentally, financially now. Please stop the war.